Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Hanji's channel. For today's tutorial, I will discuss on how to add and subtract radical expressions. addition and subtraction of radical expressions, we will also deal with similar radicals. It says the two radicals are said to be similar if they have the same index and the same radical. So let us have the following examples. Number one, I have 3 square root of 2 and negative 5 square root of 2. This one is said to be similar radical since they have the same index, which is 2, and the same radical, which is also 2. Let's have the second example. We have y cube root of x square y and 5y cube root of x square y. So if you notice, both of them has index equal to 3, and the radical is also equal to x square y, which is the two expression contains the same radical. That's why this expression is also a similar radical. Another example, we have negative fourth root of AB square C and three fourth root of AB square C. Again, they have the same index, which is four, and the same radical, which is AB square C. Please take note of a similar radical since when we add or subtract radical expression, it should be written in similar Radical. So let us have the following. Let us add or subtract the following expression. Number 1, square root of 3 plus 4 is square root of 3. So number 1 contains similar radical. So if that is the case, we will simply add the two coefficients. So the first one we have here coefficient 1 plus the coefficient 4. And since they have the same radical, we will just copy that radical, which is square root of 3. So let us now add the two coefficients. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Therefore, we have here 5 square root of 3. Therefore, this will be our answer. So again, to add or subtract radical expressions, make sure that they have similar radical. If that is the case, then simply add the coefficients and copy that radical. Let us have another example. I have here 3 cube root of 2 minus 5 cube root of 2. So we have here similar radical, which is cube root of 2. Let us just simply subtract the two coefficients. So we have here 3 minus 5 and copy the radicals cube root of 2. 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 2. Therefore, our answer should be negative 2 cube root of 2. And that will be the final answer since we can simplify this one. Next, let's have number 3. I have here 3 square root of 10 plus 5 square root of 10 minus 2 is square root of 10. So if you see, I have here three expressions in which they contain similar radicals. So therefore, let us just get their coefficients 3, 5, and negative 2 to add or subtract it. Then copy their radicals. So we have 3 plus 5 minus 2 is square root of 10. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Minus 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, our final answer will be 6 square root of 10. Another example I have, 6 square root of x minus square root of x plus 5 cube root of x. Now that you notice we have here similar radical, well, the other one contains different radicals. So if that is the case, then let us just simply add or subtract the two similar radicals. Radical. Therefore, I have here 6 minus 1 square root of x plus 5 cube root of x. 6 came from the coefficient of our first expression, while negative 1 came from the coefficient of our second expression. Therefore, I have here 6 minus 1. And since they contain similar radical, then, then copy that radical. 
while five cube root of x contains different radicals from the first two, then let us separate it and keep it as is. And 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Therefore, we have 5 square root of x plus 5 cube root of x. Since we can combine this one because they are dissimilar radical, then let us keep this as our final answer. Let's have another one. Number 5, I have here 4th root of 7 minus 4, 4th root of 7 plus 5, 4th root of 7. So from here, we have here a similar radical again, which is 4th root of 7. Let us just get their numerical coefficients, which is 1, negative 4, and positive 5. So we have 1 minus 4 plus 5. And copy the radicals. Next, let us add and subtract the given coefficient. 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3 plus 5 is equal to positive 2. Therefore, our answer will be 2 fourth root of 7. That will be our final answer. Let us have more example. Number 6, square root of 16 plus square root of 25 minus square root of 81. So in our case, we have here the similar radical. But if you notice, each expression is a perfect square. So let us just get their roots. Square root of 16 is equal to 4. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. And square root of 81 is equal to 9. After getting the roots, let us add and subtract the roots that we obtained. So we have 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Minus 9 is equal to 0. And that is our final answer. So have number 7. I have... 9 cube root of 7y plus 14 cube root of 2x minus 23 cube root of 2x minus 15 cube root of 7y. So what we're going to do here is to combine the similar radical. If you notice, I have here cube root of 7y, which is the same with our fourth ex expression, which is 15 cube root of 7y. So from here, let us combine the two. The same as with cube root of 2x with the other one containing the same radical. So we have 9 cube root of 7y from our first expression minus 15 cube root of 7y from our fourth expression plus 14 cube root of 2x from our second expression and minus 23 cube root of 2x from our third expression. So if you notice, I just simply combine the similar radicals so that we can simplify this expression. Let us now add and subtract the coefficients. 9 minus 15 is equal to negative 6 cube root of 7y. Let's copy the radicals. And 14 minus 23 is equal to negative 9 cube root of 2x. So let us have another example containing the similar radicals. So number 8, we have 3 square root of 12 minus 2 square root of 3. So if you notice, 12 here is not a perfect square, therefore we can get the roots of it. Well, square root of 3 is already in simplest form and the two expression contains the similar radical. So if that is the case, let us find a way in which they will obtain similar radical. So let us take a look at square root of 12. Let us think of a factor of 12 in which one of the factor is a perfect square. So from here, let us get 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12 in which 4 is a perfect square. So again, 3 square root of 3, we will keep it as is since it is already written in simplified form. Therefore, we have now 3 square root of 4 times square root of 3 minus 2 is square root of 3. And square root of 4 is equal to 2. Therefore, we have 3 times 2 is square root of 3 minus 2 is square root of 3. So again, I just simply get the roots of square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Let us multiply the 2 we have. 6 square root of 3 minus 2 is square root of 3. If you notice, they are now similar radicals containing square root of 3 as their radical. Now,
Now that they are similar, let us now subtract 6 and 2. So we have 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 and copy the same radicals which is square root of 3. Therefore, our answer will be 4 square root of 3. So let us have last example. We have 6 square root of 8 plus 2 square root of 50 minus 3 square root of 32. 8, 50, and 32 are not perfect squared. Therefore, we can get the root of these two. But we can simplify this one by getting factors of 8, 50, and 32 in which one of that factors is a perfect square. Therefore, I will obtain here 6 square root of 4 times 2 since 4 times 2 is equal to 8 plus 2 square root of 25 times 2 which is 25 times 2 is equal to 50 minus 3 the square root of 16 times 2 since 16 times 2 is equal to 32. Now let us apply the law of radicals in which this one is equal to 6 square root of 4 times square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 25 times square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 16 times square root of 2. Let us now get the roots of 4, 25, and 16. Therefore, we have 6 times 2, since the square root of 4 is equal to 2, and square root of 2, plus 2 times 5, since square root of 25 is equal to 5, square root of 2, minus 3 times 4, in which 4 is the roots of square root of 16, and square root of 2. Let us now multiply, so we have 6 times 2 is equal to 12, 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So if you now notice, we have now similar radicals in which each expression contains the square root of 2 as their radicals. Since they are now similar radicals, let us now add and subtract their coefficients. 12 plus 10 is equal to 22, minus 12 is equal to 10. Therefore, we have here... 10 square root of 2, and that will be our final answer. So that is how we add and subtract radical expressions. That's all from our video. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye!